also the, the Chicago and the Los Angeles, DC will do it daily very soon, twice daily very soon. So this means we grow about 10, more than 10 times, that's the first thing. But, but coming back again to the advertising and commercial issues, how effective that could be, and this year we're spending $200 million. It's not big money for the big carriers, and we start from $5 million. And uh, every single penny we spent last 10 years, the design of my time, it paid back. You know, that 5 million we spent in 2005 and getting benefit even today. So we spent more than half billion dollars, you know. And uh, without this advertising, without being creative, you know, without touching their hearts, uh, nobody will like it here because nobody knows you, you know, basically. That's the answer to the question. Okay. Thank you. Next question. Klaus Hildebrand from FEW, German magazine, you know. Uh, um, I got three questions. The first one is about your growth strategy. Of course, Turkish Airlines has witnessed a big uh, growth and success in the last years. But uh, you now, there are no plans for a new big airport in Istanbul. Right. For, uh, how important is it for the future growth of Turkish Airlines to have this uh, new airport? Okay. The second question is about um, Lufthansa. Okay. Maybe one question, sorry, one is that all right? Okay, okay. okay. And uh, uh, our growth touch is very solid. We grow about uh, six times in passenger. We have 63 million passengers here from 10 million to 63. That's a 12 years period. And in the review, we grow about eight times. You know? So the uh, number of aircraft we ordered is 246 right now on the books. Uh, end of this year, we have about 203 aircraft in operation. So it's close to 500 by 2022, you know. And uh, so it's solid. And the uh, airport is integrated part of this business. Mm -hmm. If your airline operating with the very big capacities, it's enjoyed the, the, uh, the bank structure, there's a wave structure. So in the morning you fly everywhere, in the long time you fly everywhere. Yeah. They are like at the boards, you know, they are going from the, the home, coming back at the same time, and going, taking, coming. If there is capacity problem, you cannot do it. You squeeze them every place, so passengers wait for the transit, you know? That's the one issue. And Atatürk is very crowded. They import the design capacity 30 million. They see we have 57 million uh, capacity. It's improved. Uh, it's improved. Uh, last year, this year, we have 65 million passengers. I believe it's the one of the biggest in Europe, maybe second one, huh? most likely. And uh, so, near airport opening 2017, 29th of October, is National Day in Turkey. They promised construction, they will promise to open it. They're working there, they're constructing right now. It is 7.6 thousand hectares. It's the six times bigger than Atatürk Airport. Atatürk Airport is having 65 million passengers this year. It's six runways, five plus one, five parallel runways, that's the largest one in the world will be. And uh, the public terminals, you know. So that massive capacity is in the first day we're moving in 2017 with 70 million passengers to 100 aircraft in the, event, in the opening. And uh, so it will go very easily 150 million, that's the design capacity, but most likely go 200 million. And uh, this number is big, you know, I mean, if you know the largest airport in the world is about close to 90 million. And uh, who's the winner here, not Turkish Airlines, Istanbul. And the number of tourists from Istanbul start from uh, the, 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 a little bit higher than 3 million. Last year, about 11 million is going to up to million. And connectivity is improved every year. It is the, the third well connected city in the Europe. We start from the 14th. And uh, we have the Brazil flight, and we have also Brazilian as a tourist in Istanbul. About, I'm talking about you know, 10,000. So connectivity, bring tourism, bring money, you know. And uh, 30 billion tourists, 1,000 from each one, is average, that's 30 billion dollars. Mm. So investment in the new airport is 10 billion euro, and if the consortium would pay, it's a private, pay 1 billion every year for as a rent, it's uh, the 35 billion investment, but the city will get 130 billion every single year. Mm. Of course, you make profit also. And the big airport means your life gets easy. I will close on this way. 40% of experience is in the airport. 60% is in the air. If airport is crowded, it's caused a delay, and passengers scrub, get very upset. You need to cool down on the air. It's not easy, you know? And uh, so that's why the airport, 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 airports. 
and the, the cost of the airports, you know, in the hub airport and the, the hub and spoke, other airports, is about 10 percent, and the output is 5 percent. So two foots make one acre of airport, and cost of the capital is 5 percent. Yeah. So coming back again, it's very smart to invest for the airports. If a country doesn't have the large airports or the size airports, efficient one and cheap one, <laughs> and that time the airlines coming there, they are became the losers. Can you imagine in Heathrow, we paying buying the slots, we paying you know maybe double digit million dollars, and uh, like buying the big houses, huh? and uh, somebody wants to go to Heathrow more, and I fly the more Heathrow, I bring more passenger, I bring more tourists more businesses, and they think there is no space, sorry. Give me you know, 20 million, I can give one, one flight a day. And that's not logic. Turkey built last 20 years, 26 new airport out of 24 new uh, existing airports. This is a smart way to help. Okay, I answer the question. Yes, thank, yeah, thank you. you. Um, did anyone else want to ask a question? Or another one for Travis? Anyone else? Oh, is one. Okay, sure. second question. <laughs> Second question is about Lufthansa, of course, if you're a member of Star Alliance, but of course, in the family, not always, uh, it's a good climate, and of course, in some ways, you're also a competitor. Now, Lufthansa is starting also with uh, long-haul flights, with cheaper long-haul flights, more to tourism destinations. How do you see this? this is a uh, Lufthansa is an excellent partner. Uh, we have no commercial relation. We don't have a flat sharing, we don't, even the FFP is, you know, one fourth, you know, is cut a little bit. And also all the transit group, that's totally fine. And Sun Express, our lovely joint venture, is making good profit, we are proud of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's getting large airline, huh? that's not any more small, it used to be 10 acres, it's cost more than 50 plus, huh? mm -hmm. and uh, it's making good profit. Uh, as a Turkish, uh, we give some business to the uh, Sun Express, is running our annual jet operation, and uh, it looks to do, uh, maybe a ground, not nothing wrong. Lufthansa using the Sun Express for the long haul jet flights, mm -hmm. which is excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, Sun Express is an excellent man manufacturer, but in a service provider. Mm -hmm. It's provide the service, and it's a smart idea, we support it. And uh, how we feel it, we compete or we cooperate. Mm -hmm. If airline business doubled today worldwide, with the landing competitor, my benefit will double. I have double my passage. <laughs> so I don't care who's double it. <laughs> yeah. Bueno, soy, mi nombre es Beatriz Tripper de Diario Financiero nice y eh, bueno, quería en primer lugar nice felicitarle por uh, los resultados de Turkish sí. Airlines y por esa evolución y eh, lo que quería saber es eh, cuál es el lugar eh, o la posición que ocupa nuestro país, España, en esa estrategia de Turkish Airlines. Sí, gracias. España es un lugar muy importante and historically, we're carrying the mid from Middle East, you know, thousands of tourists here because of Andalus in the historical, you know, and the artifact here, and then the big numbers coming on the Malacca, when the six cities, seven cities, right? And the, the, the seven cities, no, six cities, sorry, it's correct, seven countries, and six cities in Spain. And the, the relation between the Spain and Turkey, the, the, the political area on the state level and commercial level is excellent. And the, Spain is the, one of the, our, the, the vastest European countries with flying, Portugal and Spain. And this is why we are very successful. Even when we come to China, the, the Japan, while visiting the historical places. So you will see the Turkish really contributing to Spanish tourism this incoming tourism actually. So, this not. Can you introduce yourself? Say where you're from. Um, uh, from South Korea? Yeah. Uh, let me ask you about um, Middle Asia tourism. Okay, because Turkey is located nearby Middle Asia. Uh, there's a uh, many travels such as IS or Iran if you're from. from. Yeah. So I think the number of tourists uh, changed by then. Yeah. How's your company affected by these issues? And several days ago, luckily, uh, Iran's nuclear issues are uh, on the verge of removal. 
how this impact really affects to the tourism in Asia? Right. And the, what happening is my data, 10 years as a CEO, so we see all that crisis. Even I was in the company in 2003 as a the head of technique, and I see in the Iraq wars and so many things, you know. So we see, I see, I experience them, you know, in the real sense. What happening? So if a little bit crisis happening here in the Far East, or in Japan and Chinese, they're not coming anymore. And we think that this is safe, don't worry, but that's affecting. But our luck is, as a Turkish airline, and Turkey is, we are very diverse. So if certain market is affected in terms of tourism, we can focus the other one. Let's say Kazakhstan, you know, is a you know, large country, maybe not that many population, but they're capable to travel and they like it. So we focus on Kazakhstan. You know. And uh, Iran is an excellent market. As a Turkish, we are the biggest player, if you know it. So our opportunity is, the, around the Turkey, there is already a good market in terms of tourism. On the coming, going to the Far East market is sitting top of it. And sometimes, you know, and if there is hopefully there will be no crisis at all in the Middle East, yeah, all the problems solved in the Syria, if you're very bad, and won't suffering in the Syria. And the, all that is solved, that time the, the Asia Pacific taking over, you know. But if it's a key problem, that time the, 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 the closer country taken over. Uh, in Istanbul, growth rate in tourism is 11% consistent, you know. If you continue coming 10 years, 11% is possible. You can you imagine what they are going? Because Turkey offering both the seaside, Turkey offering history, Turkey offering, you know, very attractive, you know, the, the health tourism, and also offering the mountains, you know, all the, the, the big trees and so on. That's making it very attractive. So this means we, on the, from 2003 on, we're doing excellent. But the crisis is bad. I think I asked the question. Mm -hmm. It's fine. 